to a live look outside at one of the major ingredients, this oppressive heat. So far, we've had a record nine days of 105 degree heat. Weather Chief Bill Taylor joins us now. And Bill, any sign of a break in this heat wave? I'm afraid not. This high pressure dome is not loosening its grip, Deborah, so the temperatures remain to be well above average. We should be at 97 this time of year and the rain free conditions continue. In fact, we are in the worst drought condition in the southern United States. Take a look at the state map and you can see where the bullseye is right over San Antonio and the Texas Hill Country, all of Kendall County under exceptional drought and then almost all of Gillespie and Kerr, about half of Bandera, a sliver of San Antonio's Bear County. So that's again exceptional drought where there is no worse drought condition. Then you go to severe as well as extreme, which are also a part of the Bear County condition. So no surprise that this red flag warning continues. In fact, it's been drawn farther south down I-35 all the way to Laredo. This in effect until 9 p.m. tonight. And I think we're going to see these extended because we just don't have a break of seeing the weather condition improve. So elevated fire conditions stay in place when you have breezy afternoons and temperatures 100 plus consistently. The only saving grace in this, Deborah, has definitely been the humidity. You know, if we had lower humidity, we'd be in a lot more trouble. And with this summer being one of the hottest and driest on record, water levels in both the Edwards and Trinity aquifers have fallen drastically. Yes, and as Ryan Choctaw explains, it's impacting water use, not just here in San Antonio, but for our communities across the Hill Country. While San Antonio remains in stage two water restrictions, Kendall County, along with others across the Hill Country, have fallen to stage four, a drought emergency, where most uses of groundwater is prohibited unless authorized by permit. And this all stems from the Edwards Trinity Aquifer. The Edwards Aquifer is the primary source of water for millions across South Central Texas. And most know about the aquifer and the main three regions, the drainage zone, recharge zone, and the artesian zone. This is all sitting above the Trinity Aquifer, which goes deep about 2,000 feet below the Edwards region and is broken down into three areas, the upper, middle, and lower, hence the Trinity which extends in a narrow band through central and north Texas, from the Red River down to central Bandera County. Together as one, the Edwards Trinity Aquifer System. And for Kendall County, the lack of rain this year has had major impacts. So we're currently we're in stage four drought restrictions out of four. What that means for permitted users is a 40% reduction. Exempt or domestic and livestock users, that's uh, no outdoor lawn watering, no filling of swimming pools with the water well. And that, that really applies to the individual domestic wells out in the county. And about 90% of Kendall County receives their water from the Middle Trinity. The last time water flow was above normal was around September of 2021. So the aquifer has taken a drastic hit in the last two years. Again, residents remain in stage four water restrictions, which is considered a drought emergency. Meteorologists say with an evolving El Nino pattern this summer, this may lead to an end to a drought stricken hill country in South Texas region. Typically heavy rains come with an El Nino pattern, especially for South Central Texas, mostly during the winter months, which is exactly what we need. Something we'll continue to watch this upcoming season. Ryan Shoptal, Ken's Five.